Um, Beautiful and I, there's People that pay to look like you. One, Literally. A no. lot of money, I would too. pay to look like you. Me Taylor too. Swift tries to look like you and on? fails. <laughs> I hate this. No, she did it first, actually. There was an episode that... There was like this... There's this clip. I just saw it. came up on my YouTube. Mm. Where I'm bragging about how I give good blowjobs, but I look <laughs> like an actual trash goblin. That I'm like, oh my god, I didn't kind of hot. Was it on our podcast where you bragged about giving yeah. good blowjobs? Yeah, I didn't even remember that. And I was that. wearing like, I I, I dreamed this man. I was wearing the shirt with Aiden on it, and I just looked like homeless. Wait, I wasn't there. <laughs> and I'm like, that's I'm like a you, homeless one you bragging to... about head. No, I wasn't you probably there. just look like a little like a freak, you know? Like no, a freak I in the look sheets. homeless. No, it, it feels, bro. You just ordered Chick Fil A. Why are you eating my Cheez Its? You ordered an entire bag full of Chick-fil-A. You just went to the gym, allow him. Yeah, I'm allow very him. hungry. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, Hassan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Fear and Podcast with Austin's your favorite host, <laughs> Minus One, who died of a tragic self-sucking accident. Will Neff, yeah. rest in peace. We'll miss him. Joining us today is the queen, an icon. Some would compare her to Beyonce. Beauty? Well, <laughs> they, a lot of people I say that, too. <laughs> I would say that. Pokemon, everybody. Oh, my God. We're so happy to have you on the podcast. Thank you here. so yes. much for joining us. You guys have such a fun pod. Yeah, we're just, we, we yeah. just chill and fight and love sometimes. And steal each other's Oh, my God. Food. I yeah. watched an episode today because mm. whenever I go on a podcast, I like to uh, uh -huh. get ready while watching the podcast. Oh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the episode I watched, you guys talked about how you cried. I did. I and did. I thought that was... I did. Like, in well, a we way, you guys cry. must have we bonded him. so much. No, no, no. We, oh, we made no. him cry. Well, no. Hassan just him. stood there. Okay, that's actually... I mean, yeah. I <laughs> wasn't Hassan sure if I there. heard that right. Because yeah. you said, you said you guys made me cry. And I was like, is he talking about, like, comments or something? But it was actually you no, guys? No, like, well. like, they made me cry. Hassan just sat there while I was crying, like... So did I. Hassan and I made co eye contact where we were like, I don't know what to do. And then Will hugged you. Will was Will's the, the only, only one with, one with oh, empathy. I'm so glad Will was there because I feel like he would really balance Hassan, that out, you know? Yeah, Hassan. I don't, know how to, yeah. I don't know how to deal with that kind of he stuff. Does, he doesn't know how to deal with emotions. So he <laughs> like just when, there. when there's like a death in the family or if like oh, a person no. I know has like a, like has someone pass away, I, I literally don't know how to console them. Mm. I'm just so like, what do you do? Do you just stand there like, uh, yeah. How do you be like that? Because I kind of want to be like that. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Well, not did in regards to the deaths, sucks? but just in general. Oh, the A little less in touch with my emotions, to be honest. I, I think I, it would be nice. I tend to say the wrong things in times of grief on accident. Like, like I try to like be supportive. What? Well, one time my friend, my friend, <laughs> his his mother died, and it was oh, it was no. very sad. It was a very sad situation, but. I don't even know if I should be talking. Don't about follow it. up with a butt. You need to. No, but like I, I put my foot in the. Okay, so he he showed up to my. I I kick myself every single day that I think about this. But one time he showed up at my house on Mother's Day, and it was the same year that. And I That's opened sad. the door, and I didn't expect him because it was very random, mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to say. So I said Happy Mother's Day, and I. Hadn't oh my god. And that's I, not that bad. That's not that Wait, bad at all. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think it sucks. I don't think it's... I, it's not like he doesn't hold it against you, but I think that's like... Oh. It's just like a oh. fuck. And, oh. and they both looked at me and they, I was like, oh. So it's what do you guys It's just deflating the first year. It's just like, yeah, and it was like the first year and I was like, oh. Fuck. But then it becomes funny. I didn't mean to, obviously. But at least it wasn't like right when she passed. I Ooh. thought that's what you were no, talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. I, I, I was... How I'm many pretty, months? You know, how many months had gone by since like the Probably moment? five. What do you think? That's tough. That's rough. It was the first Mother's Day. Yeah, the yeah first one. Are you bad. trying to like wager how much of a piece of shit I was based on the oh, time? Oh, I issue? know you're a piece At of shit. At least it, it wasn't was intentional. <laughs> yeah, at what point in the, yeah, is it appropriate? <laughs> when is it appropriate to start making a joke? You can't until your parents die. Okay. Uh, you can't make dead parents until you have one. Okay. Fair. Very fair. So write a passage. So once you have, it's like, okay. It's like. Yeah. Then you're, when you're an orphan, like me. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Both your parents are dead? Uh, well, my dad only calls me for help. But oh. <laughs> so it's like kind of like Emotionally. it's like it's like repurposing. Is that, wait, like is that, that is that word that way? Like when you when your when your parent passes away, I mean it's tragic, of course. But when that tragic thing happens and you're like let's Start say fifty I love the get ready with me tomorrow. mid podcast. Yeah. When you're when you're like fifty five <laughs> years old and your when your dad passes away and your mom passes away, like are you still considered yeah, an, you're orphan? an orphan? <laughs> You can get you can get scholarships. This is just what was sent to me for scholarships? free. Pokey. I love this it. This is not. This is I bad. use a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, too. I like Charlotte Tilbury, but I also have just garbage in there. You got eyeliner? No, I used eyebrow. 
What are you wearing underneath okay, this jacket? Guys, it's like a dress and like. She a looks like she's thing. ready to host yeah, what a the fuck? Awards, actually, I, she looks fabulous. I'm going she through does, it. Okay. What is this? What is this sexy ass shit you got on? I just want to. Slutty. Oh, she's, is that makeup over there? She's in her it's redemption. And you area, still look reputation. so good. Reputation. You're just being nice. No. Listen, I think we need to have um. What do you call them? An intervention. A makeover. Yes. I want to be like. <laughs> No, no. Uh -oh. Which mic did you lose? The one Austin wait. is currently touching. No, wait, wait. You, wait. The one you need me to read. Austin's mic is cursed because of who he is. I break it he also touched it. Can you talk into it? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Okay. I think we need to have an intervention uh -huh. because uh -huh. you just, you've gone too long being delusional. Mm. Agreed. About how, like, baseline hot you are. Yeah, literally. Wow. Because mm -hmm. listen. Everybody can learn how to do makeup uh -huh. and dress, whatever, 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 whatever. Your baseline features, top five percent. I think if L I literally. lost seriously twenty yeah. pounds, we could be there. Cutie, my mom, we would not be able to tell. My mom said, "Who is that? She's gorgeous." Right? I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. You. My mom says that every I'm time. I'm holding your hand to infuse. It won't these work. Every time you, you walk in have, through the door, my mom says that. That I'm like, pretty? who is that woman? That's not true. Your mom. <laughs> I hope she doesn't do that. Like, why is she here? <laughs> I hope she And did that. you pay her? <laughs> <laughs> is Yo, she all right? this outfit. He's like, uh. How much is that? Gone. How much is she? Yeah. What's oh. that? It's grilled chicken. I, I'm so rude. I started eating without getting Oh, I thought it was something completely different. You know, um, I guess her nuggets. Thank you. Wait, you got Sorry. other people? You got her food? He also called me for food. Do he you want to have some I, I only got it because I felt bad if everyone else was going to eat and I was not going to eat. I got nuggies. I love homophobic fries. chicken. This stream Ooh, was brought to you by yeah. Chick fil A. Yeah, yeah clearly. Yeah. <laughs> we're homophobic. I, yeah, a little bit. We're doing BDS, but when it comes to homophobia, we're like supporting extra <laughs> hard. I have a gross sore on my hand. Nobody look at it. I'm not looking at it. I was it's mostly talking to Pokey. Mm. <laughs> I looked um, immediately. I know. Because you touched my hand and then I felt bad. And I'm like, she's going to think I have hand herpes. Mm, and now I'm eating it. Uh -oh, I'm not giving you. eating your hand herpes. What was that? Uh-oh. Hello? I would, I would stop recording and then start just to test. We good to keep going? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, Marsh, I'm is sending... my mic okay here? Yeah, you sound great. Beautiful. I'm sending you drama. <gasps> oh, we Can have we drama know? to talk about? Yeah, he's pulling. He's going to pull up the drama. It's our Thanksgiving episode. I was going to talk more. about what we were thankful for, too. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, it comes out. Mon When's Thanksgiving? Monday. A week from today. Oh, okay. What day of the week is Thanksgiving? Thursday. Always. Wow. Mm. By the way, Hassan. What a random day. Your bathroom takes is great lighting. Good point. <laughs> I Did you take naked it photos in my fucking bathroom? My shirt. Can was we see that? My shirt was <laughs> off, but I okay. I did take. I did take one or two. For Twitter or for you others? defiled my bathroom okay. with your nudie pics. No, no, they weren't nude, but like they Did were. You send them to someone who's responding to you currently. Yeah, but excited. What's wrong with that? Look here, look. Your lighting was hitting. Look at. If you want to, I want to see. I want to see. If you're gonna share, just send it to Marsh. Damn, you look you like you share, share that every the, day. Can I put that on the podcast? You can put that on the podcast. All right. Send it to you, want, you want your bathroom on the podcast? I want to know what is in the background. Okay. Here. If there's anything in the background, that's what would be in the background? I don't know, like drugs and Hassan, stuff. Hassan, no, drugs? you're not that cool. Hassan has a karma I, I can, I, We can blur it later. I'll send bathroom. it to you later. Oh, there's my downstairs what? bathroom. Yeah. I just karma, karma, what is that? Karma poopra, like Kama Sutra, but for pooping. He's like a like a seventy year old woman. I didn't <laughs> buy it myself. Someone sent it to me in my PO box. But don't. I have, have a Vladimir. Yeah. I have a Vladimir Putin. Uh, yeah, s My like God. smell thing too. But by the way, your bathroom is falling apart. Oh I like turned off the water and the handle came off. <laughs> I like grabbed the faucet. Two point seven mil, by the way. And it was like, yeah, and it like. That's LA. I pulled it off. I was like, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. But hey, what's the drama? Sorry. Um. Well, we have to look at your nude photo. Marsh oh. is gonna pull it up. I did. Actually, Marsh. Drama. I it did. Really is it not good. sending? Yeah, there you go. Look, there you go. Sometimes drugs have like addresses on it. That's why I was trying to figure out. Look, I'm I'm not, you know, I'm I'm trying to get you back look into shape. You extra ripped in that. I'm trying to get a little bit. Oh, like I feel it, like you've been looking ripped. He uh, is ripped. But, but but I just did an arm workout. Yo, let me get that Chick-fil-A sauce. I want to dump it in there in a little bit. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Pokey, what's the drama? Okay. Or Pokey. <laughs> 
Sorry. I could tell you. <coughs> my my drama the drama's is me. pokey. <laughs> <laughs> the drama's pokey. Wait, really? Yeah. As per usual. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Pull up pull up this message I received from Binance. Mm. It says it's a <gasps> note from Pokey that says, Hi Cutie and Lud, I hope you enjoy these cookies and <gasps> gift. Keep killing it with all the amazing events and How did she everything. Get your box? Much love, Pokey. And I said, Give me my cookies, Binance. <laughs> So I Maybe think it's you'll drama. get hers. Maybe we'll see what happens. I hope so. But I'm, I'm pissed. Damn. No, that's actually, why. That's why I didn't. Here. I brought you guys. Some oh, you did? Yeah. No, that's mine. I asked for I'll it. I'll have one. Let me eat. So one. Pokey has. For those Jesus. that are wondering, Pokey has a new cookie brand. Why don't you talk about it, Pokey? Because you're better at it than me. All I saw about your cookies, because mm-hmm. I didn't get any. Um, Shroud took them. Um, <laughs> was. I, I saw you tweet out and I was like, that's exciting that Pokey's doing cookies. I didn't expect that. Right. By the way, least expected thing. Mm. Yeah, so many people were like, mm, uh, skincare. That's what I was thinking you would do. Yeah. Because you have both, those are, you're good at both of those things. What, making Thank cookies? You. You did, you know, or like hair no. care. Could you imagine? Right? Oh, but dang. I think my issue is that um, I just didn't feel like I had anything innovative or any ideas anything to, to bring add? to that industry. I yes. See. I feel like everything's been done in those industries. Mm. So. What I Fair. did really freaking want was snacks that both didn't have a bunch of random weird ingredients, but still tasted good as hell. Mm-hmm. And that's what we made. Period. I'm excited. This is going to be the first time I've ever tried your cookie. Can we try them now? Mm-hmm. And what, what are I'm nervous. Problems? I've never been with people as, like, at least not on camera, mm-hmm. as they've tried it the first time. Well, we'll pretend either way. <laughs> Check your <laughs> PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> M- no, but I have Don't gotten... Mina? Yes. Mina cookies. I, yeah, mine is... Uh, a kind of bird. Mm-hmm. So oh, that's our little I was going to ask you what yeah. the name was. Cute little thing. a little dessert. What flavor is this? Midnight mini Midnight cookie. mini cookies. Okay. They're the like dark chocolate. And you're going to do more flavors? Oh, Someday? not just cookie flavors. We're, that's oh, the thing. Oh, we're not just leaky? launching cookies. Like We're just doing snacks. Mm. There are so oh, many wow. snacks I want to make. That's cool. Especially mm. a spicy oh. snack. Yeah. Like a spicy healthy one. And then like a, a salty savory one. Have you guys tried all dress chips? That's good. Oh, you like it? I'm them? serious because it's got it's got a dark right? chocolatey but it's not, punch, it's, mm-hmm. but it's not, it's too, not too sweet. And if you add that with milk, because it's a healthy cookie, right? Yeah. You if you put, put milk with mm-hmm. that cookie, so good. You're gonna you won't even realize that it has less calories. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. There's seven that for is, 140 calories. That is amazing. Okay, that's that's legit. I'm gonna you're gonna have. I have you have QVC voice on right now. What do you I mean, love QVC it. Voice? Yeah. Okay, Check your I'm PayPal. trying You're it. You're just I'm mad that there's it. a successful woman in the room, okay? Are you saying He's Cutie's not, not a successful one. woman? Oh, my God. That's not what I I'm meant. I'm not. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm I, my, I am I not. I put my foot in my mouth so much. That's I'm so sorry. fucked Cutie, up. Cutie, Cutie. I'm not. Cutie, you are a successful we talked woman. About, we talked about net income the other day when we were taking our nearly nude photo shoot, and Will was like, I made this much last year. And that's how he talks. And then Austin was like, I made this much last year. And I was like, sheesh, I'm poor. <laughs> I'd be so interested in hearing. You guys don't want to share? Well, yeah. What I think is awful, Pilky, is there's such. It was. It, we were. It was just. I just think that women need to be paid more. That's I'm dissecting this cookie. <laughs> it's true. I think women need to be paid more, and are. Prepa- I think there's a massive. I think the girls brave. and the gays both actually. I think there's a massive wage what about, gap. What about straight white guys? No, Dude. I think we need to murder Pokey, them. Tell yeah. me, I think. You guys did something genius here. So if you guys don't know from a pastry chef, me, um, that uh, these are very similar to the texture of Oreos. I don't know if you've heard that feedback. Yeah, I have. I have. It's very similar to texture of Oreos. And Oreos, the cream filling, a lot of people don't know this. It's just vegetable shortening and sugar. That's all it is. Yep. And in this, the cream filling, I'm assuming, is coconut oil and coconut sugar. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. And it's very smart. It's a really smart way to do it. Because those things are both good for you. Way better than vegetable shortening. Mm. This but is what I mean. Yeah, that's genius. Thank you. That's Thank very, you very smart. Much. That's actually um, a way that uh, when I was a pastry chef, we would use like whenever we made vegan. Mm-hmm. I mean, vegetable shortening is vegan, but usually people would, you know, want right. it a little nicer and we'd yes. use coconut oil. And oh, it's which is nice. So they're plant-based. Yeah, it is plant-based because normally coconut oil won't hold. Like it's much softer. It's much softer than Oreo, which you can like see. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Why vitamin D? Because because you need it. <laughs> Come you on now, sun. get your blood work, then we'll talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what no, but that? I that was actually the one thing that I I personally requested. I was like, hey, can we maybe put you know some kind of functional benefit like vitamin D, even mm-hmm. if it's just 
a little. It's enough to be considered like a good source of vitamin D as mm -hmm. a snack, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But I just know, not just gamers, but I mean, we're all on our screens a lot and yeah. we're probably all kind of deficient in vitamin D. So How much vitamin D is in it? In a lot. Those are a great. Good source those are really like, great. I think 15 to 20% of your daily, something like that. Bogey, those are It'll genuinely say. good. I would I'm tell glad you. you guys like them. You can you tell yeah. me if they're like, okay. I would and tell you. To be honest, obviously like a cookie or any kind of snack, you know, it's not maybe for everyone's taste palate. Right? Like some yeah. people might not really like sweet. But there's different flavors. It's really fine. Not someday, yet. someday. Right? someday. Oh, there's not That's different so flavors. We're yet. in the lab yeah. cooking. Okay, gotcha. Not gotcha. Yet, not okay. Yet. <laughs> so how does well, the process work? Do you do you like what are you contributing in, in this? And I'm <sighs> asking very bluntly. nothing. No, I know. I'm um, kidding. Because I'm I'm genuinely <laughs> just curious. Like So when I say this was two years in the making, I mean the ideation, the market testing, the branding, the putting together the team of people that we're working with in order to bring this to life, mm -hmm. and then finding the right CEO. That took a hot minute. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and that happened almost a year ago. Um, and then I, I've been involved like every step of the way in the sense of I need to be part of the final decision-making process of every step we take, whether that's the branding, whether that's the website. Smart. And then once we started working with the CEO, I told her my goals and hers, making sure we're on the same page. And then I taste test everything. And mm. I tell him I like this. I don't like that. Can we add this? Can we change that? Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Basically, every yeah. little thing, Our even contractually, like it's like, because also I don't want to wind up in a situation where I'm forced to push something I don't yep. like. Yeah. Yep. So contractually, yeah. I'm like, I need final say in everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Makes was sense. very smart. <laughs> like I said, since... I used to be super into food. That's why I was interesting. Like, you if you are. Ta well, yeah, You're but still good at food. I, I barely, like s I don't very stream very much anymore. But um, yeah. So I was Relatable. curious what you do for the. <laughs> Let me get that dip. Like. <laughs> Let me get you one for the food thing. But that's you. You taste you. test everything and then you oh, give yeah. feedback. And do you guys have like a higher? Is this Darcy person the hired like chef? So she's not necessarily the sh the chef, but she has twenty years of like food CPG. Oh, industry it's like food experience. scientist. Yeah, she worked at Kellogg's, Nusa, Plantera. Wow, that's mm. so she's interesting. done like startup foods, everything. Yeah, sorry she's, for picking she's your really brain cool. on like no, the back okay. end stuff. I don't know if that's interesting to anybody else, but I'm like, no, please. <laughs> I I'm glad I have a chance to actually answer yeah. these questions from the perspective of someone who's like just curious and asking, and not from some random incel on Twitter. So All right, yeah, now now that we that's now that we got through the <laughs> now that we got through the background, let's talk about the. <laughs> Drama. Drama alert. Is drama. There drama? Um, yeah, of okay, course there's the drama. drama. What do you mean is there drama? Stupid. What is the drama about? How could there be drama over a fucking cookie? Um, it's a cookie. A, a woman made the cookie. You forget this. Well, there's that. Not to be like. <laughs> there's that. Ew. Cookie has a lot she of haters. Um, cookie does have a lot of haters. We we share a lot of haters. True. Um, but oh you know, actually, sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I think of Hassan in an inspirational way where I'm like, he really does not give a fuck. How can I learn to not give a fuck? Yeah. You know? I'm just getting numb to it after a while. But what ended up happening is um, immediately they found uh, another cookie that looks similar, I think. I don't know what the exact details are, but they I were saying that. that you had yoinked this other cookie and slapped... <laughs> <laughs> the uh the Mina 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 but yes name on it and that you were up marking it or something so go <laughs> ahead white labeling address the yeah address Which the drama also by the way I just want to say if you were light la white labeling <laughs> bitch have you bought any merch from any streamer ever it's all white labeled what are you talking about yeah, what do you so mean I'm fucking I'm sourcing that shit myself that you're sewing it sure. with your sew it yeah. sew it hands. right now in front yeah. of us yeah <laughs> He pays his workers very well. They all have health benefits, right, his own? Union shops, baby. That's right. Uh, anyway. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so let me explain. I launched the cookie. The name, uh, Midnight Mini Cookie. Midnight Cookie, by the way, is like a dress term. It's like 2% milk or like wheat bread. It's mm -hmm. like you cannot mm -hmm. trademark that word. It's like a chocolate chip cookie. A midnight yes, cookie. Like a I could go bake a midnight cookie yes. for the record. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. So people found these really, really old images of a product that looks similar to ours and has the same name, Midnight Mini Cookie. And the thing is, we work with the same manufacturer. So we were aware of mm -hmm. that product. It no longer exists. Mm -hmm. And it existed for one sample batch. And mm -hmm. it was like sold at a Costco 
months and months and months ago. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to use that recipe anymore. Mm -hmm. So when we started working with this manufacturer, we taste tested a bunch of stuff of theirs. But when I tasted, well, it was a di an older version of these. I was like, these are the ones that I like the most. So we took that recipe and we refined it a lot. Like whether it's where a, um, like a certain ingredient is being sourced or the type of flour mix that we're using or the quality or whether it's organic or not. All these little details to improve the ingredients list and add vitamin D and make all these changes, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we refined it and came out with our own version. And this is delicious. Can I ask you, yeah. I don't know if you've... In, um. Oh, wait, I just want to add, by the way, like 80%, about 80% of the food you see on shelves is white labeled. Yeah. You know, we're not... Yes. This is... These cookies were made two or three weeks ago. Yeah. So they're like fresh batch. People, I think, were misled into thinking it was some kind of scam where I'm taking these cookies and putting my packaging on. And so it's not like that at all. They're entirely different. That's insane. Aside from the name and like the similar That's type of cookie. More and work. we're working with the same people. It'd be so much work to take those yeah. cookies and depackage them and put your... I know. Mm. Anyways, I hope that clarifies because I know like explaining the behind the scenes of this kind of business, like people obviously don't know these things. I think it's fascinating. I think so too. I really do. I just don't like that people try to frame it as a scam where I'm like, <laughs> then every company out there is scamming you. Like, yeah. we cannot own a whole manufacturer yeah. that makes a bunch of recipes. That would be like insane money. Mm -hmm. That would be like top 500 fortune company kind of money. So, um, what is, and you might not know these answers, and it's if you don't know the answer, just whatever. Mm -hmm. um, how do you get sustainably sourced palm oil? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that ever. I actually, I know, like I've watched documentaries about palm oil. Yeah, Maya's that. my best friend, so I'm always like, mm -hmm. wait a second. <laughs> yeah, so I saw that and I was like, oh, that's sick. I should ask. I don't know the details. I just know that it's sustainably sourced. They just put, okay, so you got to learn. Which was really important to me too. Yeah. When I was reading through, I was like, palm oil, hold up. Yeah. I was like, no, it's sustainably sourced. So okay. yeah, I should look into that yeah. so I can share with people. That'd be hype. I'd yeah. love to learn about that. <laughs> that's very cool. Thank you for bringing your cookies, Pokey. Yeah. Thanks for tasting them. They're delicious. Them. Where can they I get I did not them? want to do this hashtag ad. Oh, I did. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to. I told her, I said, bring the cookies. We're doing an ad. And <laughs> yeah, how many of these cookies do you have at your house? I have. Uh, I know it. Ziploc bags this big. And you only like brought two one? Pounds. Well, do you guys want more? You're all getting some. Yeah, Except I, I he I didn't fill some. out the form. So. Yeah, of course Hassan didn't fill out the form. He never yeah. responds to my text. It comes with um, a Stanley one. cup too. Actually, you know what? You've gotten better at responding to text messages recently, Hassan. Thank Hassan you. Hassan has never not replied <laughs> he answered, to me. He answered, actually, when I call Before. Hassan, he almost always answers my call. Almost always. That's nice. Almost always. So it, why did you start off by complaining about him? Well, I just like to make him look bad. But okay. like it, most of the time, he... Answers my calls, rare 50 50 on the text. <laughs> if I call him before like 10 a.m., always and that's the best time to reach Hassan is between the hours of he 7 a.m. He has all this and, data, and I love PM. it. Right, at 10 a.m. After, he after he gets off the stream, mm -hmm. it's a little dicey. I'd say it goes, it drops from 100% to like mm -hmm. 70 30. He's going to answer Depends, your call. Yeah. Um, and then no way he's responding to your text after a certain time. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that true, Hassan? Did I accurately describe it? Um, after 10, you're not going to get an answer from him. Well, like, are you never, asleep? You're I feel like you answer the next day, though. No. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes he does. Aww. For me, I... Uh, he must really like you. Yeah, my you've never phone, not replied to me. Wow. <clears throat> my phone goes on uh, do not disturb mode, oh. and I'm such a boomer that it actually works. Same. Like I never look at my, I never think to look but at it my messages pop up anymore. Yeah. yeah, which I kind of like. Okay, so Hassan, when you when I call you, what goes through your mind when you give me a call? When I call you, what does Austin need? What do you think? <laughs> this freaking. <laughs> That's which what I'm beep, thinking. Which beep? This one right here, Pokey. I got it on my wrist. <laughs> I love it. Um, Could you Okay. No, I'm just like, uh, whoa, what's going on? I don't even think about it. I don't know. What about you, cutie, when I call? I usually think, what does Austin need? I don't call when I only need something. Ah, uh, Most uh, most people only call when they need something. Really? It's like the emergency thing to That's do. That's true. I like When you call, call me, I know that like it's got to be something related to like a show I'm doing for you. Or hot Wait. goss. Austin and I will talk hot goss. Ooh, yeah, we'll really? talk goss. Yeah. He doesn't call me for hot goss. Three-way yeah. call me. Because you're always live. Well, no, because Is there any other hot goss we could talk about? I'll be, I'll be talking to you about goss, Hassan, yeah. for 20 minutes, and then I'll realize, oh my God, he's not listening to me. <laughs> That's not true. Why I'll be I like talking. I'll be like, Hassan. Hassan? Uh. That's <laughs> He's not <asleep>. true. 
I listen. Yeah, Cutie and I, Cute, Pokey Cutie and I talk hot goss every once in a while. We'll call yeah. to talk to There's talk. There's no to. hot goss right now that I can think of. That's no, nothing that we really talk about. That yeah, appropriate. All the goss. Yeah, I got hot goss. Mm. What? Old Travis Kelsey Twitter has resurfaced. Oh yeah, the Swifties old. have found it. Oh no, of course. Not. Yeah. All say? right, pull it up. They're Let's hilarious. Take a look. Really? Yeah. He's just a himbo. He's just. Yeah. Yeah. Are the Swifties angry? Read no, it out. They're so excited because he's. Just Let's have our local himbo read it out. Oh yeah! All right, pull I'm it sorry. up. Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> waiting for I'm waiting for Marsh to pull it up. Okay, here. Where's one? Uh, Kill a trap. Struggling a thread. Here, click on that. Maybe there's more on that thread. Oh, that's cute. I just gave a squirrel. He's squirrely. our boyfriend. I just gave <laughs> a squirrela. A piece Squirly. of bread, and it straight smashed all of it. I had no idea they ate bread like that. <laughs> ha ha. Hashtag crazy. Hashtag crazy. Uh, okay, but we used to use hashtags like this is 2011. We used yeah. to use hashtags like this. It's just, it's just funny in comparison that in 2011, Taylor Swift was writing the words of like, and your did your twin flame uh, blue, or no, did your twin flame bruise paint you blue? Did the love affair maim you too? Like, like just like the most poetic, <laughs> and beautiful shit. And he's like, yeah, and Travis crazy. Kelsey was writing, and I uh, and I will read this now. How old was he? It's I'm such a nice day me, out. Bear with me. It's such a nice day out as I stare. <laughs> wrote that wrong. Oh, from my man. math class, dot dot dot, <laughs> shaking my head. Hashtag must be nice. Why do I always have to be the one that stands out? Dot dot dot. I'm getting stared at. Same like stare. crazy in this airport, dot, 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 shaking my head. Oh, my God, he's kind of dumb. <laughs> USA versus Findland. It is really cute. I'm just playing hockey, watching this USA team dominate. Okay, what Wait, is... Wait, no, so he literally wrote Findland. Why, why is just a dumb guy just so hot? I think why it's is, because... Why are we so attracted to... It's like, it's like against our evolutionary tendencies. It's because they're predictable. Oh yeah! Wow. Versus being with like an unstable, unpredictable person, you're like, oh, they might hurt me. But, but intelli that. intelligence is also sexy too. True. Sure but I like, like I like, I think dumb is better. <laughs> you know, I'm not I saying anything in this I conversation. Know. I don't really have Why? any. <laughs> I feel like uh, I like I him know. dumb in certain categories and smart in certain categories. You know, like okay. keep me uh, like, like intellectually what? stimulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. But doesn't know how to spell Finland <laughs> and writes Findland instead. Honestly, I could forego knowing how to spell Finland if he's just like really devoted and committed yeah. and faithful, you know? All right, well, I, I got more. I Let's read more. Yeah. I, I could see it. I think so. The Do moon you think looks he has amazing, like an amazing PR team though, or what? Yeah, don't, they, they, don't ask me about his uh -oh. PR team. Yeah. Oh. Kitty, drama. Do you know what do Travis I not is know? PR person? No, I do not. <laughs> okay, I do not. I heard Judy she was Cinderella about leaked she was something that uh, Travis Kelsey's <laughs> PR person had said it was through a makeup artist in through Las a makeup Vegas. artist in Las I got Vegas. Canceled by the Swifties. And really? she got, yeah, except was she was like, right. She except she was right. She brought it forward as like unsubstantiated rumors that she was joking about, like to not take seriously. What was it? What was it? Well, I'm not. Uh, Please stop. What are you doing with that? That's like some Austin behavior. <laughs> no backpedaling. Say what you. I don't chest. have. A, yeah. I don't have a fidget spinner. Yeah. I was ripping up my chicken sandwich. Um, I nothing. It was what I said wasn't true. Okay. It was uh, the makeup artist said that it was a PR relationship because she was friends with oh, his I publicist see. and blah, blah blah. And I was like, yes. they're in love, ma'am. And she was like, no, blah blah. And I was like, blah, blah. even if it started. If it did start as a PR relationship, they are clearly in love now. Mm. So it doesn't matter. They seem but, really cute. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I don't so, know. Anyway, but I well. said that I quoted the makeup artist and the Swifties came from my head. And I was like, wow. oh, I'm sorry. I was just chatting shit on a podcast. They love you now, though, right? For entertainment. What does no, it look then, like for the Swifties to come after you? Oh, my oh God. My look God. at Meat Canyon's fucking Twitter page. They are, um, well, I was surprised Careful. because I am one of them. And I didn't know that this subsect, for the record, it is a subsect. It's not all Swifties. The subsect of Swifties is the same as like certain subsects Me. of BTS fans. I'm a gayler. And he's a gayler. Um, Can I be a gayler? Or is that you don't want to be a gayler. Gay no, you want to be a gayler. You don't want to be a gayler. No, you want to be a gayler. You don't. It's like where they're Getting speculating that Tyler is bisexual. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, you're a gayler. You already That's know. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Austin so is homophobic. Don't <laughs> listen to him. What? I'm not homophobic. I'm I... an ally to the gays. You are <laughs> no, not. If, I am much more of an ally. And Taylor is also an ally. She's not a part of the community. She's yeah. not enough to Not enough to come out, but it's You're fine. so homophobic. I've actually seen a thread or two like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's drama. Hassan's so homophobic, he doesn't even have sex with men. I'm fucking... I'll Disgusting. fuck you right now. He can... He can eat... <laughs> <laughs> you will what? Maybe in you the bathroom me. where the lighting's good. You will fuck me. Patreon episode. <laughs> you heard me. You fuck me right now. I'm gonna be doing the fucking. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Everybody in everybody out here knows. <laughs> everybody out here knows you be my bottom. That's yeah. For sure. No, definitely. Do you know? Right. Do you I'd know that Justin shoulders. Bieber meme where uh-uh. he's like doing an interview and the lady oh, laughs? laughs. <laughs> yeah. That's a good laugh. <laughs> That's what I think of when I hear something. Do you guys? Do you guys want me to read more of these, or yeah. do you do you care about Travis Kelsey's it. Twitter? No, I think you like it. I think we we have talked about. Look, I, I respect respectfully. I'm not. Oh I'm not. God. You know what? I'm 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 learning Pokey to be a little bit more honest with people. I don't want to read any more of these tweets. I like it. You are so anti straight white man, dude. What the fuck's going no, no, on? No, no, no. I love straight. We need white. to talk about it. Well, okay, we need to talk t- about well, it. What about it? You Let's just you hate it. him because he's not. No, I if he, he first of all he's he not gay. He doesn't play for the Minnesota Vikings. And I'm not as interested in him because it, 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 this is a problem I have perpetually, Pokey, is when I go out to, with my friends, nobody wants to go to a gay bar, all right? I know. I need no, to go with I you. Know, I've never go. gone. Every, you don't, have, like, do you you don't have to do that. Everyone, you don't have to lie. Yeah, Please. Judy, come on. You have to go with us to a gay bar. Pokey wants to go to a gay bar. Pokey, you don't have to Pokey lie. To go to a you gay don't want to go. I It'll promise. give me a plus one point towards that thing you asked in my DMs. You know, like plus ten percent chance I'll do it. <laughs> Those, there's zero percent yes. chance. No, I've been thinking Pokey, about it. Uh, really? Judy, God damn it! <laughs> but I need like a month or two more to think of. Like, uh, you know. Anyways, Judy. are you gonna come to the are game? Are you guys <laughs> doing secrets on a fucking podcast? We do have secrets on a podcast. If you want, you could say it. I don't mind. Oh, I think I think I, like I, a, maybe, I, maybe I can not. predict it. Can I predict it? Yeah. Ooh, you asked her to host the stream awards with you. I did. Maybe, oh. Maybe not. Well, Pogi, feel great because she didn't ask any of us to do it. <laughs> I didn't. It's a. I want. It's she wants women. only women, which I thought yeah. gay is gay is close. Oh, uh, it's woman adjacent. That's, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. but so I'm just I holding hands I'm with Pokey. <laughs> it feels nice. <laughs> Pokey's like, I'm so lonely. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, please. Ever since I locked up F1 well, TV, Judy I can't. Hasn't no, asked me actually, to do living anyone. alone and streaming bad combo. I just want to really? be on. I just want to roll yeah. the stream rewards. You want a what? I want a role. I know. Sort. You've told me. You can have one. You're going to be my floor <gasps> host. I was going to be Beat the Flower it's Girl. It's on camera. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, that's the, the I'm going to have you. Uh, no, not the pre. Inter- oh. I'm going to. I'm. Don't be. Oh. Okay. During the show, before the bands go on. I'm not good enough. You're going to be on the. No, this is a big role. This okay. is bigger than the red carpet. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Before the band goes on. Okay. Before. Okay. There's four performers. The one that opens the show. Uh-huh. You're Why are you hitting me? That. I'm excited. The other I don't want to be a part of the show. You're going to be on the floor while the stage is getting ready. And you're going to be going up to tables and talking to them. Oh, my God. How exciting. And you have to come up with your questions. And you have to improv. That's so exciting. I, I, he's he's I think he's I'm so it. excited. No, this is so great. I'm so excited. It's bigger you're than. All right. You know what, Cutie? It is bigger than red carpet. Cutie. What? I'll do it instead. It's no, fine. no, 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 no. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. Well, he seems like he wants to. No, do it. You I seem will. No, no, do it. it's fine. He doesn't want to do it. Do I'll do it. So bad. I'll do it. I'll do it in his place. Oh, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it myself. It's fine. No, no, no. Hassan's bad uh-huh. at asking questions. No, I'm not. He's a terrible interviewer. I killed it on the red carpet. You sucked on the red carpet. Oh, really? That's really red interesting carpet. you say that. It seems like people loved it. Though. Are you doing me the red carpet this year? Mm, fucking no. I don't know. Whatever. No, I don't repeat. You That's the whole repeat? thing. Ooh, yeah, I like every it. year I like you know. Spicy. It's true. the whole point yeah. of the streamer awards is to have highlight different people in different areas mm-hmm. of the internet. If I use the same people every year, then it's. I do. She yeah. has asked me to do the thing that she just asked you to Co-host? do. No, she wanted me oh. to do the thing that she asked you. Now I said Lord no originally. So I'm the second. <gasps> no, yeah. you ruined it for him. I'm the Don't say that. I'm the second. Oh, he's lying. That's okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? Sometimes the backup quarterback comes in and he shines. Mm. That's a good attitude. You know what? That's a good attitude. Sometimes I'm gonna. I'm. I'm, I got a little chip on my shoulder now. I'm cheering for the underdog. Thank you. Well, now everyone can bully Pokey online. Please. To try to get her to be my. When they're done that, you. You need to do this. I would love for you to do. Well, I. I'm thinking about it. You don't have to do the monologue at the beginning. I'm Why changing. not? I want to oh, talk. You do want yeah. to talk. Yeah, and I want everyone to say. <laughs> I want to talk. This is a big moment for women. It's a powerful <laughs> moment for women. It is. Don't laugh. It, it is. is. He laughs because he hates Listen, women. Listen, He wish this was an all-male I like seeing show. 
the streamer awards just be fucking huge and then hosted by two I know. vaginas. Yeah. yeah. Or two not vaginas. and just identify as two vaginas good. or a gay dick. <laughs> yes, no, adjacent. Nobody, at least nobody, adjacent. Wants, nobody wants a gay yeah, dick. No, in I want to. I want to use your stylist that you used last year. I emailed them and they didn't reply. Yeah. No, no. I'm excited for the streamers. Yeah, Do we know when it is? Are we, you she's telling? busy. She is. Are you telling huh? us when it is? February seventeenth. Mm. Wait, that's, you announced it yet? Are that's when I'm going to be. In, I'm going to be in Japan. Please. No, you won't be. <laughs> for the Taylor Swift concert. It's February tenth, actually. So yeah, I'm going to be in Japan for a week. I'm excited for the streamer awards. I'm. I hope I win an award. I'm always excited. You don't stream. You don't stream. I had a couple things this year. <laughs> you streamed like eight times <laughs> this so year. Mean. I had na- I had name your prize for every. You should do an award for someone who doesn't stream but is a no, streamer. It's, it's League of Their the Own. The Clint Stevens Award. Uh, if, except the Clint, Clint Stevens, Stevens Award is a funny name. Would beat you <laughs> though. Yeah, yeah. Clint Stevens would it win is. the Clint Stevens Award. Well, you could always win streamer streamer. Uh, streamers, streamers' choice. But I don't really. Oh, streamers' choice. Yes. Yeah, where everyone votes for in yeah. the audience. I'll try. I'll, 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 I'll Wait, I'll if you do that, yes. Go around and Did tell everyone to vote for you. I'll, I'll say. I'll. I will do that in when I'm hosting and I'll interview people. Just so make sure you vote for me. Yeah, streamers you can streamer. do. But they probably already submitted their votes because they do it at the beginning of the show. Oh, uh, okay. We'll have to rally people before. Just vote for stand me by the coat rack at the beginning and be like, "Hey, streamer, streamer." Okay, Pokey, will you vote for me, streamer? Do you guys get votes? I'll vote for you three times. Oh, thank yeah. you. You so say much. that. You said you guys like she's hosting, but she's. Oh. Me, well, I'm gonna be okay. there either way. Okay, fair True. enough. Okay, be there. fair enough. Um, wait, normally we don't. Did you tell you I was gonna think about it? Yeah. Okay. Well, wait. Because you said I denied you. I thought you said no. But I don't remember if I told you that I was gonna think about it. But I think I've you been told me thinking no. about it. Yeah. I well, was, I'm I I'm happy to hear you're thinking about it. Okay, so I'm thinking about it. Hassan. Normally, I don't talk about politics on the show, but don't today there's today. a story. Oh, let's do it. Today there's a story that you know. George Santos. Yes. What okay, there's a, how do you know about because it, the it hit the, it hit the gay world. That's it hit why. the gay world. George yes. Santos is wait, a, pause real quick. Yes. What yeah. you didn't say you were thinking about it. You just said no. I should have messaged you and said that. But and I then I I sent you a very convincing thing. Yeah, I've you been thinking about that. Okay, she's thinking about maybe. it. Or anyway, Google. I'm happy to tell you now. We can brainstorm. Okay, I have ideas. We can figure out a way to make you comfortable. We'll brainstorm. No, you saw in the group chat. She's thinking about it. You're you're. I love the way you, you think this. I'm the same way. You, you just always, you can always accommodate for anybody. You can right figure there. it yeah. out. Always figure it out. Yeah, Both I've learned. Of them, uh, no, that, <laughs> I've learned a lot. And then go up, go up. I hope that you do one it. too. I'm the Jenks report. Serious. I hope you do it. Uh, it the right. reason the I really started thinking about it was because what? you, you sweet talked me real good in that reply. Listen. Okay, so um, and it's a George <laughs> Santos, which is a former U.S. No, not a former. Current well, U.S. Congressman. Well, he's about Whoa. to be. He's about to be former. Botox Sephora. God. Damn. I love Ladies it. and gentlemen, uh, let me get. Let me start from the top. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're George okay. Anthony Devalder Santos. Who is that? A man by many names, also known as uh, Katara Ravash, I believe, as a drag queen in Brazil. That's Ooh. cool. Is a man of many names. And has been a con man that has uh, struck both the communities in Brazil and the communities in the United States of America and the Long Island, Staten Island, and uh, Manhattan region. George Santos won a blue district, or a red district rather, or a blue district as a Republican, uh, and he became the U.S. representative for New York's third congressional district, serving since 2023. And what he was serving was cunt. <laughs> George Santos became very famous after his uh, upset, his major upset victory, winning in a district yeah. that is supposed to be going to a Democrat, mm-hmm. unseating the third most powerful Democrat in New York politics. Which do you not love? Well, I love George Santos regardless okay. because he is a phenomenal character. Once he had won the seat, mm-hmm. the opposition research, which normally comes before you do an election, uh, came out after he won the seat. Everyone found out that he had lied about being Jewish, lied about what? his yes. Oh my god! To which he How replied you... with, "I'm not Jewish. I've only said I'm Jew-ish." <laughs> that is so funny. Said that his grand <laughs> said that his grandparents. That's the one who did stand up, so that means a lot. That's so good. Yeah, no, no, he's a Larry David character. He's like 
the closest you can get to being that is so funny. The closest you can get to being like in the Jewish universe as a Larry David character I'm not without being Jewish. 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 Um, so really claimed anti Semitic a little bit. Claimed <laughs> his grandparents escaped the Holocaust from Ukraine. So he was hitting every avenue. He was like, I'm Ukrainian, I'm mm-hmm. Jewish, like at a time when everyone was talking about Ukraine. Turns out he is not any of those things, really. He was in Brazil. Claimed his mother died on 9-11. Mother did not die on 9-11. Then he tried to say his mother actually died due to 9-11 complications. Found out his mother wasn't even in America at the time. Uh. Lied about being a volleyball varsity champion. Lied about the college he went to. Lied about the high school he went to. He lied about pretty much everything. We found out that he also was a drag queen. Uh. That's in fun. Brazil. Now, that would be normal and fine and cool, and I still think it's cool, except we also, uh, he's, he's a Republican. At a time when everybody mm-hmm. was saying, you can't be a drag queen, that means you're a pervert, yeah. that means you're uh, bleep, you know, interested in we children. We need to give his seat Smears. to Pete Davidson, because his father did die in It's a brilliant solution to this problem, Thank I agree. Yeah. However, uh, in spite of all these lies, George Santos refused to stand down he refused to resign he said i was elected to do a duty and that duty is serving cunt i'm serving uh this district the best of my abilities now there's still a senate or or sorry there's a congress ethics uh committee in the house of representatives and they conducted an investigation there was a lot of uh obviously discrepancies in his campaign financing and it turns out oh boy where there are a lot of discrepancies. On October 21st, 2022, Redstone's wow. bank account received a $25,000 wire from an account affiliated with Contributor 2. From there, $25,000 was transferred from Redstone's account to Representative Santos's personal checking account. Now, this is a big no-no. Mm-hmm. You can't take money from your campaign contributions. Wait, so it into your own bank that account. was his, his Redstone's bank account. Wait. <laughs> Wait. He, it's... Wait, so he's running for student body president. Redstone is like <laughs> the campaign's bank account, gave right? gave him money yeah. for yes. Pizza Fridays. But instead of buying Pizza Fridays, he then... He put it in his bank account. He said, and yoink. He, bought, he put it, he he put it in his bank pizza. account, he yes. He got OnlyFans Fridays. Yeah. Now, yeah. what did he... Saturdays. What did he do with that? doctor for Botox Sundays. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did he do with that? After the 50000 from Redstone was deposited into Representative Santos' personal accounts, the funds were used to, among other things, pay down personal credit card bills and other debt. Make a four thousand one hundred twenty-seven dollar purchase at Hermes. That's incredible. And for smaller purchases at OnlyFans, <laughs> Sephora, <laughs> and for meals and for parking. Oh, I also God. I love this. He is so for the girls. He really Sephora? is, one hundred percent. And he, he, what do you? You are a OnlyFans donator Wait, yourself. Really? Look, I have purchased OnlyFans in the past. I, what and whom and like, some what's total. the content? It's it's like porn. <laughs> I have made purchases on OnlyFans in the past uh, because I like to support sex workers. And I also like... Dude, there's this Mormon girl that I grew up with that started OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. And her OnlyFans is... She's probably changed the name. If she didn't, then shout out. Here's a shout out. It was Holy Slut because she used to be Mormon. That's great. Yeah. Is it good? That's good branding. I subscribed as soon as I saw it and she pierced her nipples, which I don't like pierced nipples because every time I see them, I go, yeah, it's no longer (laughs) enjoy. I'm like, that's not hot. It's just, ouch. Yeah. Maybe guys can find them hot, but like, I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. Uh, And I wonder if they feel it. I don't think. Do you know? I don't think they feel it. I I mean, I don't know. The girls. It's fun. It's like licking pennies. I had a friend. No, not if the guys feel it. If the girls actively feel it. I had a friend with a nipple bar and it got caught on something and ripped out and she lost Stop. her she lost the bump of part of her they had like sew it down and so she has like you know how sometimes nipples can be like like you got a little baby toe kind of sometimes and there's sometimes they're like flatter I or whatever. Love nipples, she had a little baby toe like, like the kind that people because you know you can get injections in your nipples now so it looks like you actually so you, you have a bump because some people don't have a prominent bump so you can get injections like kylie jenner so then you when you wear no bra you can see the bump wow. uh, yeah and so you she, mean when your nipples are hard? Yeah, but yeah, you can make them like perma hard. Kylie Jenner got oh. permanent I hard don't nipples. No, that is gossip. Wait, we should Google talk it, about please. the Skims bra after. Yeah, but then, <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of like Skims bra. Anyway, yeah. and so then, so so she, she has had, one. She that had can natural go, boobs. Yeah, and that one. Were, because yeah, because they got. And caught. now one is messed up. Okay, oh, so yeah. Yeah. all of that. To say. I've never been really into nipple piercings. 
in general. Uh, what were you saying about OnlyFans? So why did I cut you off? Uh, the reason why we're talking about OnlyFans is because George Santos purchased four thousand dollars worth of OnlyFans, and I was going to ask Austin 4, to be 000? honest for a moment and tell us how much you have spent on OnlyFans. How much total. money I have spent on oh, OnlyFans? No, I'm cheap. And we'll vote for you. I'm cheap. I don't, I don't. I'm not currently subscribed to anybody. I just have a bunch of free pages, and I don't even use it really anymore Wait, that much. Free pages. But look, that? I am unashamed you can about follow it. Follow people for free. I think. Yeah, oh, I am unashamed about it. I have purchased OnlyFans subscriptions. I have stayed subscribed for months to certain people. I have up. I have paid. What's your total? Like, I probably spent a few thousand bucks. No, that's too much. That's too much. I probably spent like maybe a thousand. Ten thousand dollars. No, a thousand total probably over the course 5, of like a few years, maybe. A few thousand? No, no, no. Like, probably a th- I mean maybe a I'm overshooting I it, but a thousand, maybe <laughs> five hundred to a thousand, somewhere in that. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I think probably that would be that'd be probably about five hundred so, to a thousand. There's a clip from George Santos as well. If you want to pull that up, let's see what no he had way. to say. Wait, this is after talking to him? Wait, um, that's George Santos? Is it true that you have <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That is okay. George Wait, Santos on the right. Yeah, play is it. Is he gay? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Is if he openly I, gay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Th- I didn't know if he was He also was gay. married to a woman. That was another thing that people what? were suspicious about, too. He, like, what said he was life? gay, oh, but he's, then... He's gay. But, yeah, no, he is gay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. he's definitely gay. You'll see. Um, Speaking of peel, is it true that you have an OnlyFans page and you can peel a banana with your feet? <laughs> I don't have one, and it's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll indulge you this. I just discovered what OnlyFans was about three weeks ago when it was brought up in a discussion in my office. What do you think? And I was, ve- I was oblivious to the whole concept. Oh, come on, George. He's a good liar. He no, he's is. not. He's, he's oh. just... What? I believe that. Yeah, me too. He looked like he was having so, like, a like, silly, okay. goofy time. He said yeah. that you know? when? When did he say he that? He was very calm. Oh, uh, well, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Here's Joe Santos in interview. He's with very in March. Good at lying. In March, his oh, bank geez. records show he used campaign funds on OnlyFans four months earlier to this interview. He said this in March, though. Four months earlier to this interview. Oh, so that's. Crazy. That so was, he had known about OnlyFans uh, and had spent four grand at least on a uh, campaign Botox contribution. Do you think helps you lie? Because you won't express as much, right? Mm. Um, I'm a bad liar. It'll be like more believable, maybe. I'm a bad liar. Me too. I'm the one. I'm the worst liar. In fact, Austin I'm such not a, a bad liar. He's I'm lying. such a bad liar <laughs> that when I'm telling the truth, I seem like I'm lying. Sometimes I feel like when I'm telling the truth that it seems like I'm lying. Like I feel guilty. Because I f- I'm the same way. I, I feel guilty all the time. I'm like, oh my God, I did it. But I didn't do it. But I did it. No, yeah. You know what guilty I mean? Guilty conscience. Like I feel so. Way heavily on you. Oh, oh man, I, I'm like kind of awkward sometimes. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. I'm kind of awkward, and I'm I don't like believe you. Kind of silly. I'm a bit no. of a silly goose sometimes. No, like I'm kind of like I'm a little socially like I'm kind of a klutz. That's hard to believe. You're also so hard to cute. believe. You're like, quirky. I, I, I You're like I was in the gym trying to look cool, and I was like on my phone, and then I dropped it off my stairmaster, yeah. and everybody looked. And then I fell off the stairmaster. He's normal, just it. like us. Yeah, 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 he's one of us. So, and I'm well, still gonna vote for you. Thank you so much. And we're running for president together, yep. actually. Um, but uh, that's not how it works. Yeah, I'm a little awkward, uh, a little silly, silly goose. Yeah. I don't know where I was You're going quirky. with this. You're quirky. You're different. I'm a little quirky. Yeah, I'm a little different. Yeah, I'm not that. Cr- I'm not that abnormal though. Like on my day to day life, right? Yeah, like you're still like the other girls, but you're like not like the other girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not like as crazy as you would think. Like people, I think people based on my clips from TikTok. I don't think anyone thinks. I think about they you think as much I'm a clips psycho. On TikTok. I put okay. So oh god. His TikTok is just ours. It's, it's like a, I've, I love I've, it. I've, I've, I've posted so many clips from from here onto mm-hmm. our TikTok. Mm-hmm. And they no, this they is the up. only reason why he does the like podcast, this is a TikTok. So I'm really, I'm not surprised. Like I could see TikTok fucking loving you. Yeah, they they you're they, great. they do. For, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Even Some of them. You know who else so TikTok sweet. loves? You're so sweet. Yeah. Osama bin Laden. What? That's right. Whoa. Why you gotta ruin who? this moment? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Did you just compare What's me? That comparison, Did you just man? compare me to We're Osama bin Laden? Just saying. Okay? Just saying. <laughs> just saying. What? Just saying. How did we go from everybody loves Osama on TikTok to your? That's, you know who else? You just Osama. Of did course. you pull it up, March? Pull it up. What? Show it. No, show it. Osama bin Laden going viral on TikTok. Wait, what? Mm. Alongside what a Austin transition. Show. Was it because he spoke against the genocide or something? No. Oh. <laughs> Wrong tweet. <laughs> no politics. We don't have to talk about that. We don't have to talk about 9-11. Oh. <laughs> Which many people are saying is is kind of like Austin. You com- you, you're comparing me because Favorite. I... 
I compared a long time ago. Said. I compared his the way he looked as a child, which was a tragedy, by the way. A tragedy. I compared that to 9/11. In fact, there's what? a clip. We should run it. What does that there's mean? a clip on. Well, I didn't compare it to 9/11, but it was like, it was a tragedy. He did. He did compare. Hassan, you look like shit. You. He <laughs> literally. He literally He's said. A child. How it's not you? on my Twitter. It was... Um, he said a tragedy. Oh my God. I don't know. It was under... I don't know what account it was. I don't know what's was. wrong with this guy. It was... But anyway, long story. So he wanted to throw that back at me. But look, I can say that about him because he turned out to be... It's not mean because look how he turned out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Right? But you're fine. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to get canceled for this, right? No. He's too hot for that to happen. Right? If he was like a wreck. Just your wording was a little funny. Tragedy. No, no he, he like used some those kids words. It was a joke. I'm obviously not serious, folks. I'm yeah. not. It was joke. He, his ch he was a very good looking child. Well, that very good looking. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Tragedy. Very good, good looking. Wait. Why are you saying Save that? It. When you were a kid, you thought as a kid, when you were both kids, that he was good looking. Yes. That's, he's Saved. lying. But he's I literally lying. I, I didn't mean it like that. All right. But next up on the geez. docket, we have really important news. This combines two of the things that Austin and Cutie love, uh, Taylor Swift, and also... Football. A cruise. No, a cruise. Oh. That's right. Oh. A place to spread you diseases. Love, and also love, friendship. I love cruises. Friendship bracelet. Oh, yeah, he's do. gay. Of course he loves cruises. Yeah. <laughs> do you love cruises? I've never been on one. Pokey, I'm going on a, third, uh, I'm going on a birthday cruise. When? Like literally right now. Oh. That's why we're doing this podcast I'm, on Thursday. Yeah, I'm going on a I'm going on a I'm going on a cruise in January. Exciting. No, I'm not going I'm going on a cruise in January. I didn't want to do this podcast today because I'm going to see somebody in Florida. Yeah. Oh, that's even yeah. worse. Somebody. Oh my someone. What? That someone. same someone might have gotten that photo. Who knows? Yeah, hey, maybe. If maybe, you're, maybe if you're not. watching maybe, right maybe now, maybe someone, not. I hope you'll be his va Valentine, maybe. <laughs> Did I, did I help you? It's a I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Was that good? No. It's a little early, but we'll see. Uh -oh. A Taylor Swift theme cruise will set sail that. next year, says the Swift wow. Society, which includes friendship bracelets, swapping sessions, and trivia games, that's which is the cute. weirdest oh, thing to fucking mention in a cruise. Like, I feel like that's the least exciting part of a fucking cruise. We will cruise. not be going to Barbados, but we will be singing Long Live from the top of our lungs. <laughs> but yeah, but like, why would... Why yeah. is that the selling point? Is the Oh my God, Taylor Swift is fucking 33 years old? Yeah, she turns 34 on the 12th of December, or That's 13th of December, sorry. Damn, nobody likes 12 you when you're 34. 13. Okay, she could... What? That's a song, isn't it? Nobody likes you when you're 32? No. <laughs> 23. Is, isn't that Taylor Swift? No. You know, that's kind of true. What? I do think nobody really likes 23-year-olds. It's kind of an awkward age. Yeah. Wait, that's... Whose song is that? Blink-182. It's Blink-182. Why did I think it was Taylor what Swift? Because she has the song 22. Are yes. you going to be 33 hey, soon? Hey, I don't know. That's why I, I also thought next year. I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? my God. Yeah. We are so close in age. It's kind of crazy. I'm 25, but he's 35. I actually don't know how old you are. I don't know if you tell people. I'm I'm 25. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. We all yeah. lie about too, our girl. ages. I, I'm I don't. actually all 25. No, I don't. I'm, 29, I'm I'm 32 years old. No, I've never I'm, lied I'm, about my age. It's a privilege. I just want to make it publicly known that I will be lying about my age for the rest of my life. I think everyone knew that because you've given you've given... Eight different ages over the course of the last eight episodes. What's the latest one? Uh, this is just 25 just now. I just said I was. Yeah, he just turned. I said, I, I name your price. I said I was celebrating my 21st. Yeah, he just I crossed an it. he just crossed an important threshold in his life. Yeah, 21st. Uh, only this past. Oh, 25. I can. I can. This past uh, Sunday. I can uh, now rent a car. Yippee. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I don't remember. Wait a minute. <laughs> You've been renting cars for. How many years? Because I had a AAA membership. 26? Oh, like interesting. Young. 27. 27. <laughs> Happily. Uh, well, you're 27? Chicken, yeah. 27. It's crazy. Which oh. kind of freaks me out because I feel like I knew some of you guys when I was like 22. 21. Yeah, we, we've known each yeah, other the this longest. Feels so like a long time. Pokey and I have been in this business for a long time. Which That's is, why I love which is, we, 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 I love Pokey. She's one of my Seriously, favorite people. Like day one. She likes me. I'm like, did I see what the first, no, the second TwitchCon? <laughs> no, con first TwitchCon. I waited in your meet and greet line at the first TwitchCon. And what? you're like, why did you wait in line? And I still, I, I still ask. Yeah. Uh, were you popping the first TwitchCon? Like, were you one of the top? Content no, group? no, I really? was such I a fan. Were. No, I was such a fan that when I met like a streamer that I watched a lot, I Who? started crying. Who? Oh my god. Mm. I Who? Cried. <laughs> yeah, Leak really. it. Leak it. Who? 
you none of you guys probably Doesn't know matter. him. He plays Hearthstone. Oh yeah. His name's Amaz. Yeah, I remember Amaz. Yeah, he yeah. just played Hearthstone every day, and yeah. I was a university student, and I watched Hearthstone every day. Yeah, and I met him, and I started. I, I don't know. Amaz. I don't know what came over me. I started That's crying. That's crazy. That's crazy. How <laughs> That's fucking so nerdy you guys well, all are. I used to get pictures of streamers yeah. too. I used to get pictures. Of so I used to get so uh. nervous to meet Soda Poppin. Soda Poppin. Why? I used to get so nervous because he was he like, had a crush on him. He was. The he was so cute. But <laughs> the streamer. One time I got into uh, the f first TwitchCon. Mm -hmm. I went to um, get into an elevator and Soda Poppin and Leah at the time Ooh. were in the elevator and they got out of the Legendary elevator because Leah. I was in there. What? They really? like left the elevator because they felt uncomfortable with somebody else being in there. So they got out of the elevator. That doesn't sound like soda. No, it was him. Did you smell bad? <laughs> no, I don't smell were bad. Were you wearing the shirt? Yeah, were no. you wearing a shirt? I, shirt? I have never. I, I smell great. Shirt. Smell me. Don't you do. He's going to do the thing. Ew. He's gonna do the thing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, I would never do that. I would never do that to you. No, yeah. he smells great. Nice you smell. used my shampoo. I'm pretty sure. No, I didn't even shower. You I didn't... just washed my face and took a picture in your mirror. Okay, well Ooh. then you used you uh, you used my cologne. Off? I did. Why? Well, I I, I changed my underwear. Use my cologne. I didn't use your cologne. Yes, you did. No, I swear to God. What is the smell then? It's just my, my natural. No, pheromone. it's not. You used my cologne. <laughs> That's my me, pheromones. Me and actually, high. You oh, used... I just smell like vanilla. No, you used you used my Dolce and Gabbana. Was that was yours? Was it sent to you for free? Yeah, I, I got stole it. stole it from Streamer Wars. Was that yours? Stole it? Look, because I... Well, you didn't. Okay, so you I got, gave, I got up they, there. They did give it to you. I got up there and I was like, I'm going to take a, I'm gonna take a shirtless <laughs> picture in Hassan's mirror. I've never thought that. Well, you've never been in his bathroom before. Yes, you have taken shirtless photos in my house, though. I did. Technically. <laughs> we did a nearly nude calendar. Yeah, like a couple days ago. Yeah. We did a nearly nude calendar That's right what, over here. Because when you mentioned like some kind of nearly nude shoot i was like what yeah, everyone has to do it. it all of our guests have to do it sorry yeah <laughs> awesome Go to Cal. Pokey. Cal. sorry pokey it's time <laughs> what We're percentage almost of the proceeds do i get oh this is that's this the is, awkward thing we <laughs> donate all the proceeds to charity don't say that oh. the charity of austin's bank account yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. austin thought he was gonna for make botox only fans or and yeah. sephora <laughs> i thought about pokey what do you think about me starting an only fans i think that's very slay of you mm. if you wanna i'm i'm thinking about it Thinking about I would years. subscribe. Would you really? Yeah. Oh my god. Because would, would you, you are you have like the physique of a Greek god. Oh, stop it! Under certain lighting. Under, certain <laughs> under lighting. Hassan's lighting. Yeah, under Hassan's lighting, clearly. Wait, can I hear more about this shoot? I'm so curious. Yeah. So that we we got we did a nearly nude photo shoot. How nearly nude? Uh, I was mostly clothed. They were not. I mean, <laughs> wait. There, you should no, do a little. Uh, there, what's we the thing we all have photos where we're wearing speedos only. I mean, it's a thing that people mistletoe? Kiss, a mistletoe, and then you cover it with the mistletoe. Well, I mean, it was, it, it was, it was, it was. <laughs> that, was a that was a good. We should have done that. Thank you. Yeah, we should have done that. You should next hit year. me up next time. Yeah. Just for ideation. We'll have you do creative, creative. You want to be in our nearly nude photo shoot next year? No, okay. maybe with like my it's hand. So Hello. Bad. <laughs> what? So inappropriate to ask people. You that. asked first. No, I didn't. I'm. I did. I was the one who. I didn't even ask. I told her she has to do it. It's just men. You guys are listen. I'm no longer the 21 year old you used to know. So we can be like, so I'm all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> so she's in, actually. Which charity? Yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. Home, you know, the details. It's, I got to know the details. So the charity we, were, we were mostly, like, I, at one point, I was M Miley Cyrus on a wrecking ball. Yeah, <gasps> he was in panties. And I was in, like, white, like, hip panties. And Cute. I thought. He didn't every, like it. I thought everything was going to fall out. Yeah. Like, I, I had to put a but cup But it didn't. In there. My butt cheeks were falling out. Damn, like, you're admitting was, you put a cup, huh? I, oh, I put a cup on. I did not. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should have. Hold on, hold on. The, they were. I was doing it out of respect for our female yeah, makeup artist. Yeah, otherwise Hassan. they were see through. Yeah, they were literally. You oh. could see my head, which I did take a photo of in the bathroom. I, <laughs> dude, Jesus Christ! I let it hang. Um, you let it hang. It was tight Is even without the cup. So it was a hard. To. It was a hard. It was a hard, it was a hard <laughs> photo shoot. Wait, you, wait, wait. I would hope not. Wait, wait, actually, but you didn't have mine. Were you could see everything on the white speedo that I was on. Could you see? Look, Hassan. <laughs> I don't knows. remember Hassan. What kind of poses did you guys uh, do? Well, I mean, I was and on the wrecking ball. Okay. I was Marilyn Monroe with a pride flag. Going I love yeah, it. That one is cute. <gasps> That's yeah, so yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um. <laughs> Uh, Will did one as uh, Michael Phelps, so he was just in a speedo and he had like the gold, the oh, gold. Okay. Um, Cute. Hassan, Hassan's best one is he's Bernie Sanders, but with no pants on. <laughs> 
That's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hassan okay, the ideation is actually fire. fire. He, Fourth of July one in America Speedo. Yeah, he he was also September, which I can't imagine what you think that was. And um, he was uh, he used um, the twin towers as a prop. Let's just say that. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, his, yep. I was February, but it's a bunch of clouds in front of my body. I was just I was literally wearing clothes. <gasps> Beautiful. And we just put clouds in front of me, <laughs> and then don't lie, she was naked. So pretty. I wasn't naked. She was naked. She was fully nude. You guys should. You guys should buy the she calendar. Around Please buy them. She was the whole time. Yeah. You guys should. You guys should buy the calendar. She's like, she she was bullying us while we were naked. She's like, yeah, you call that a dick, you fucking pussy. <laughs> You guys got to sell that BTS. She's a monster. <laughs> I wasn't. I was She's like, like, yeah, you fucking little dick. That's what she called me all day. <laughs> You'd make such a good dommy mommy. Oh, I'm too tired to be a dommy mommy. <laughs> I'm way too tired. Get some caffeine in you. Dude. Come on. They'd I feel like, like I've hit her 20 you times. Would, she has you not would be a good one. dominatrix. I, well, you, I was going to say I'm used to it, but that sounds bad. I'm not used to oh it. I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm so worn out. You got the dominatrix fit on right I now. Got Do you want to take a nap while we finish Yeah, up? I got a, a big cavity filled this morning. You got a root canal? But oh. Almost. So as close as you can get to a root canal. They had to put like a fluoride cap inside of the tooth and... God yeah, so you. did they? Yeah. Did you have to like go under it anyway? No, or? but they loaded like, me up. I'm, I'm barely getting filling back. Actually, like that's how bad it was. Oh okay. my gosh! Yeah, I'm in a lot of pain, but anything for the podcast. A lot has happened to you recently. I've had a hard. You're really life. good at pain, like life. being in pain but not showing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you she's much. brave. Yeah, she's Ooh. very and beautiful. And true. Well, women have a higher pain tolerance than men. Yeah, right. Is that is that true? Yeah, and oftentimes our problems go ignored in doctors' offices because we either put on makeup and try to look nice, or because we underestimate our own pain. Interesting, I know much. that. Or because Feminism. I think we're being dramatic. And That's doctors are misogynistic. Yeah. <laughs> no. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> like I'm a, this our I'm local just, misogynistic. I'm doctor. just a regular misogynist. I'm not okay. even a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I got a doctorate in misogyny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On that note, however, we should probably move beyond the paywall here. Wahoo! Beyond the paywall. We're going to the Patreon. That's right. Uh, the Patreon, Patreon part of the episode. If you would like to see that and many of the other juicy tidbits. Ooh. and I feel like we didn't talk about Pokey enough and I'm sad. We're going to talk about oh. Pokey. We did. We Wait, talked about the there's one the last minor. thing I can say, what? which uh, I wanted to say in relation to you not feeling any pain. What? <laughs> and not showing it. Or sorry, feeling pain. <laughs> <laughs> You're pregnant. She's Y'all, pregnant. I'm actually, I've been having mad baby fever. It's oh, bad. No. Have you ever, Ooh, you've let's never talk had about baby this. fever? Fuck the time. Let's keep going. We'll no, still no. have behind, enough for the Behind the paywall. Oh, no, 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 no. We're ha- going to keep talking anyone, about it. Like, well, are you guys not experiencing fucking baby fever? Before, yes, we are. Shut up. Guys, Pokey, keep we talking. Can just give like five minutes. go to 70 minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. Anyone else feeling baby fever? Just me? Never once in my life. I am, I. Right? I want to get men pregnant. Oh, <laughs> if I could do that, I would too. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. It's like, it's, I don't have baby fever, but it's like, it's something that I would, okay, I'm oh. sorry. They're uncomfortable. It's more of a, no, keep going. No, no, no. It, it's like, he cardinal? has a breeding fetish. Yeah. He's, he has a you king. I want to impregnate something. I don't mm-hmm. want to, like, I, I don't want you to spread your seed. Really <laughs> I, I just think, I think the concept of getting, I've heard that too, like, many times. in a sexual setting, I think it's, it's sexy. But anyway, oh. talk about your baby fever. I think our, our, I don't want to raise a child. Like uh, yeah, oh, he's a, we've established already. I know. I think it's, from, it's established fear and lore that Austin would be a terrible father. I mean, I'll be, I'll be a great father from You'd the time that they're You'd be a fun like, father. You'd be a great uncle, like a very fun uncle. Yeah, I am an uncle. I've got 11 nieces and nephews. What? Yeah. My yeah. <laughs> I got 11 nieces If I nieces had 11 and nieces and nephews, I probably wouldn't want a kid. But yeah. anyway, no kids sorry. in my life. You so. have baby fever. Talk no, uh, that, would, that was not what I was going to talk about. I'm mm. just saying I kind of do, and babies are so. Yeah, they are cute. But the girl boss in me is trying to freaking you, um, shove do, that. Do you want do you want desire children? as far away as possible? My whole life, yes, but sometimes I'm like, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I'm I have like I have two wolves in me. One wants to be a stay at home housewife and one wants to conquer the world. And I don't know which wolf to feed sometimes. You, know? you would you could do both. <laughs> I'll see. I'm serious. You I'll could see. do both. But what I was gonna say is I um, I don't know. I'm tired. In a couple weeks, I'm launching a podcast, and I wanted you on it. Ooh. You're one of the first guests I want on it. You're and launching it's, a podcast. It's a soul. I don't even want anyone on it. It's just me fucking yapping. But I wanted you on it because I know it's called "Don't Tell Anyone," and I you I know you have so much shit you probably never talked about. Oh my god. Yeah. 
I'm Especially so industry related stuff that would be crazy so that interesting you're not asking. We're right here, but I, I mean, you guys can have your episodes at some point. Wow. Wow. Like, are you interested? Out. I'm so That's crazy. Pokey, I would be there before you even ask. Like, yeah? I'll invite myself. Okay, but myself. listen, the premise, at least mm-hmm. for the beginning right mm-hmm. now, I'm talking the, m- the most shit. So if you have something you want to talk about, maybe something you've never talked about yeah, before. Yeah, I'm ready to whine about mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, especially I watched your interview with. Uh, Padilla? Padilla, yeah. I cried. No, I'll be honest. Yeah. I, think, like I think Cutie bitch. would be the best right? for that because she will We'd talk so shit. Much, so much I'm Shabon. I'm notoriously not good at talking shit about people. No, you don't have to talk you, shit about just people. Just like about life. Life. A lot oh, of people okay. don't know everything. That's Oh, okay. I mean, I can No, there's just so many. Actually. There's a lot of things that people don't know about me. There's a lot of things that happen in the industry that uh, you can't say at least right away. But like a few years later, you're like, fuck it. Did you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Once upon a time this happened. No, there's a lot of things that like, of my, specifically of my personal life that I just don't tell people. Right? Yeah. Like, this is your nothing chance. bad. I just, I don't Wait, tell people. I forgot the name again. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. That's I love name. that. Thank you. Yeah, Pokey, I'm very excited. I'm genuinely. Yes, I will go on your podcast and you will be my co-host of the Streamer Awards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a half shake. Oh. Close. Half. Close. Half just guarantees you on her podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but but you know we're still getting somewhere. Anyway. Yeah. No, I'll somewhere. go on it. I'm excited. That's Pokey, awesome. I'd t- that's, that's that's very a, cool. That's a great idea, and I'd tell you if it sucked. Ooh. I'm well, serious. I'm, when is it? If okay. it sucks, you tell can, me off camera. I, I will. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. can agree to this one. Mm. In January, I'm starting my late night show. <gasps> You'll come on my. Late you know night this show. whole podcast? I was thinking you'd be such a good show host. Talk show host? One of those. I have a show called The Austin Show. Like actually. when you were asking oh, yeah. she's, me. She's hosting a late when night show. When you were show. asking me about the cookies. I mean, I loved it. Yeah, like, I'm Jimmy Fallon. Said, yeah. Said, like, I'll well. be on it. Okay, done. Cutie, thank you done. so much for the invite. We'll also be on the late night show. <laughs> I are you going to have it. us on? Yeah. You guys can do the red carpet. Yeah, but you guys aren't I'm going to be busy. You're not hard to like get. A, she's hard. It's true. <laughs> she's hard to get a hold of. She's hard to. Well, I'm doing a roast series next year. <gasps> roast me? You want the roast to Pokimane? Just check Twitter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we should roast. She's po- like no respectfully. We should roast Maybe, Pokey I don't know. instead of roasting Hassan well, for the That was like the time. fifth ask of the podcast. We you asked to host the stream awards. Uh, he didn't ask for anything. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm j- guys, you guys are actually s- like you're fun we're, friends we're, and you're also incredible creators. We're oh, you can do whatever you want me to do. You. Except for, <laughs> except for stream rewards. His <laughs> nail. Yeah, Maybe. Hassan's like let's get he wants to get to the paywalls so badly I wouldn't let him. Are you going to slice me? What? No. As a businesswoman, we can play any like you know we play wine about it ads at the streamer awards we could play <gasps> how much tell me oh it's not you in exchange yeah okay that might be fun that's a really I'll good, think about that, it. That's that, a good what deal. a bargain you little is, business woman you that is awesome that is awesome <laughs> speaking of promos uh yes. what would you like to promote other than your cookies that and your it. new podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and your new late yeah. night show. I told um, you our late night, night show. Late night show Do you guys times. have anything to promote? I have um, nothing to promote. No, no, we, we we are here to support you. We're promoting no, our Patreon. I'm here to support you guys yeah. on your shows. Oh my god, Hassan, when you did your charity thing, I think I donated 15 fucking K. Thank Whoa. you. Hell yeah. yeah. No, because I was like, no offense, Twitch news is sometimes so <laughs> so sad. Like you hear the mm-hmm. shittiest thing offense. about streamers. I, and I'm like, finally, you know, yeah. a charity or something we can support and uplift. Yeah. You know, nice job, go. Hassan. Good job. I don't think you hear that enough. Hassan saving Aww. the world. Uh, you're so, you're so I definitely cute. don't. You're a special boy, you know that? Um, I, I only hear negative <laughs> things. Tragically special boy. Tragically um, special boy. All right, boy. well, on the paywall portion, if you want to check that out, you should <laughs> yes, go to we'll patreon.com slash fear and. That's right, patreon.com slash fear and. See you on the other side. Ann. Yippee. Woo. What are you most thankful for, Pokey? Um, to be honest, when you asked that, the first thing that came to mind was, I'm really thankful. Being on the Fear Around podcast is fine. You can say it. I wish Will was here. Like, how fun. I know. Right? I didn't tell her. I mean, I love you guys, of course. But now I'm like, I need to come back for like the full, full experience. That's, that's, we, that's yeah. how we get you. That's Ooh. how we get you. Yeah, we're, this is the I mean, I'm not sample. far from here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. happily, happily. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first thing that came to mind was I love those people who, because I'm not going to lie. I see so much dumb shit on Twitter. I see so many dumb motherfuckers on Twitter that don't even have a third brain cell to spare. And I don't have the time or mental wherewithal to respond to every single one. So I love the people that do on my behalf and absolutely fucking dunk on them so i don't have to dude i that's love, who i'm really grateful for I also, 